Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> welcome back to another episode where we are actually doing a preview of the Arsenal versus Manchester United game which is happening this Sunday. It's happening at the Emirates. So without further ado, I had to bring in my boy back. G unit Geet GP, what's up baby? What's up? What's going on? <laughs> hey man, how are you? Glad to be here again. I think it's uh, it's been a few weeks since we it has since we met and spoke last and I think it's perfect timing, right? Like your team versus my team, it's the old giants facing off and it's always fun. <laughs> it's always fun to talk about this. That's one of my favorite topics. But it is. Yeah, it is. no. Thanks thanks for having me on. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. I couldn't think of anyone else, obviously, to bring on. When I think Manchester United, that's who I think is you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. before we actually go into the game, uh, did you see the UCL draw just now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are yep, your thoughts? I did. I think it's hey, United, <laughs> Bayern, Galatasaray, and Copenhagen. It's not the worst that group. Is, that is correct. Hey, it's not the worst group. I'm, uh, I'm excited for Harry Kane to come. Come, uh, you know, to Old Trafford and and see what he can do. He's always he's always been good, right? Like, let's be honest, Terry Kane. <laughs> he has yeah. now got the backing of Bayern Munich behind him, and I think that's. I'm very scared for that. Like, let's be honest, I'm very scared. I also think right now with just the injuries, and we'll talk about the injuries that you and I both yep. have. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's we're not in the best spot um, for just the number of games that we have to play, right? Um, but I'm excited. Hey, it's it's better than Group F. I'm going to... I'm gonna. I, I would rather not be in Group F. But... Uh, Dude, what that's about the you guys? best I know, group, I know you bro. Have, <laughs> you have Sevilla, PSV, and who's the, who's the fourth uh, one? Sevilla, PSV, uh, Lons, and PS... Uh, yeah, yeah, Lons. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's Lons, not... Lons. That's that's a pretty, pretty decent group for you guys. I mean, obviously, that's Sevilla true. is... is European Championship, but not the Europe, not, not the this Champions one though. League. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> other Champions League, but um, Sevilla is a threat. Um, yep. I don't know. I don't know. Um, doesn't doesn't PSV have that? Um, what's that guy's name? Like the kid. That, Mark Yoko. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Xavi Simmons. Xavi Simmons. Correct. Correct. He's not in PSV anymore. He's gone to Leipzig. That is correct. Yep. Yeah, I I completely forgot about. Really that. good player That's though. A, really good player. Great. Great player, great player. So I, th- I think you yep. guys have a decent chance of of uh, topping that group. In fact. We I should, mean, that, bro. That should be, we that should. should be an aim. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think I think for us, it's it's tricky because there's always one of like Galatasaray, right? Like it's like Fred's homecoming for us, you know. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> and I think so. Actually, on that point, I was just talking to someone right before this call about um, AC Milan and Newcastle with uh, Tonali, right? I think that's going to be a fiery game. Um, back in Milan, you know, Tonali is obviously probably one of their favorite, you know, people who played for them recently. So that should be good. I, I think it's, um, I think there's another group which is relatively easy. Um, and by easy, I mean just like I mean, City got know. an easy group, bro, and they get the easiest group all the time because they finish first. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so you can't do Wait, anything so, about it. So who 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 does City have? I know City has red, like Leipzig. Um, yeah. They have Leipzig, they had uh, uh, Red Star Belgrade, and the okay. last team I can't think of right now. So I think but it's, it's Young not... Boys. I think it's Young Boys. Oh, you're right. It is Young we, Boys. We, hey, hey, they're <laughs> yeah. a tough team. They're a tough team. <laughs> I was going to say, I remember that. Um, I think yeah. I think, uh, I think Group E is also pretty good. There's uh, there's Celtic, and obviously playing in Celtic is, is yep. a, it's a tough game. Um, where, is, uh, where is Madrid? Wait, is Madrid? Madrid Wait. are drawn with Napoli. I know okay. that. Uh, okay. They're drawn with Madrid, Napoli, Napoli and that's okay. I'm not sure who else they have. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, this is the Champions League. You have to beat the best team in order to win the competition. Yep. And uh, yep. I'm just glad we're back in the Champions League. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so, it's, yeah. It's, been a, it's been a well-deserving season for you guys, right? Like we, we uh, touched yes, on yeah. this last time too. I think Arsenal yep. have... It was Arsenal's league to lose, um, and mm-hmm. they did. But I think they're starting off strong, right? I think with the signings that you guys have made, I, hey, I think you know, yeah, definitely, definitely should be looking for a Champions League. Um, Absolutely, you know, 
a good I mean at least league, uh, we got to go uh, for me if you ask me we have to go till uh, at least the quarters <laughs> man Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. After that, it depends on you know. Uh, it depends game. on it's yeah, exactly. Game, yeah. So that's that's my thing. So the one the one thing that I do like is the away goals factor, right? Like it that's always yeah. been a big thing against like like very very aggressive fan teams. Like for yeah, us, yeah, you know, uh, Bayern Munich. I don't think of them as a fan team, but Dortmund, for example, right? It, it's I no, think uh, yeah, I <laughs> the Dortmund game, <laughs> Dortmund, Milan, and Newcastle, like like. that that group itself just going i mean for newcastle someone who's coming in who's like you know i i don't want to call him a new team cuz their history is you know they they've, they've seen champions league football before yeah. they've seen the greats but it's been a long time right it's been a very long time um and It going has. to going to dortmund and going to milan it's man that's a that's It a has. tough that's a tough and we're not even talking <laughs> about psg right We're not even no. We don't even know if Mbappe is going to be there. Oh no! We should know in the next what um, few hours. I think he's, yep. you know. I no, think I he's, think he's going to stay there this season at least, dude. So it's a big payout yeah. for him coming. So I, I, if I was him, I, I would not <laughs> move right now. But um, I think yeah. I mean, going to I'm Paris, you, going to Milan and Dortmund. Crazy. That's a that's a hey. Welcome to Champions League if you've ever had one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. Yep. So, yeah. I guess uh, we gave a quick sum of the Champions League. Let's get back to the firecracker of Sunday's mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Sunday's fixture, which is the biggest p- fixture actually this weekend. Yep. So, three games have gone by. I know it's still early days. Uh, we Arsenal, as it as um, as in the way we've seen Arsenal play. For me we've I know we've got good results. I know the last one was probably a little bit disappointing in the manner how we drew the game. Um but I think we're still playing well. We're just not firing on all cylinders, you know? Like how last season we were just from the get go we were just killing everyone. Dude. It doesn't matter yeah. who it is. And yeah. However, from what I've watched United play, it seems like there's a lot of Okay, I know there's a lot of uh, scrambling happening on the pitch but off the pitch too I feel like like Sofia Amrabat dude I've heard this guy's name ever since the transfer window started. Yep. So yep. And 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 still I'm seeing only yesterday I saw something like okay only now they have negotiated for a loan fee. Yeah. And uh, you know I don't even know if there's an obligation yeah. or an <laughs> option to buy. So I yeah. feel like United same mistake like last time i feel like they mm-hmm. haven't got their shit together so i'll the flow is yours hey i think again as le- I, before we get into that right i want to just mm-hmm. kind of follow up and if you can link the video from last time we spoke about three <laughs> signings we got all three of them so so right off the bat that is way more positive than united have been in the past few transfers that being said you know amrabat I, look I've heard a lot of different rumors and obviously everything is a rumor until it actually happens right from Ornstein from from uh, Fabrizio from everyone right saying that he's been waiting right he's trading alone he's 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 doing what he can I think there's a bit of like FFP involved right I don't really understand FFP as much to know exactly what is mm. the 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 point that's holding them but the fact of the matter is we need we need a dog in the middle right let's yep. be honest we need a the last i think three games um look we 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 scraped past wolves i i hate to say it we scraped past wolves uh tottenham first half was yours bro first half was yours uh, that's it yeah you should tottenham, have taken those chances. i mean but we should have taken those chances right but tottenham is um look the manager is great i think he's won everything right wherever he's gone but that was not a this that's not what we need right like no. this, if we're playing against them, we're playing like this against Tottenham without Harry Kane are we I really agree. aiming for top 4 i think that's pointless and even forest right like forest come on the first half like are you are you fucking kidding me in my <laughs> language um look we won you know i'll take those three points but the thing yeah. we lacked in the middle of the park right eriksen just doesn't cut it for us casemiro if you if you play him in the, in the in you know just like a, a cdm defensive midfielder that's great but what mm-hmm. are you going to do against people like odegaard right who just run this way 
when Saka yeah. is out wide, who cuts in? Who's going to track him? If your left back, back um, is tracking him, like who's going to go? Like it's it's basic. I hate to use the word, but just dog running after a fucking a fucking ball. For yeah, time. but the the problem is, I feel bad for him though. I feel like he has to cover like different sections or zones of the pitch. So I feel like he has to do so much more work. Especially yeah. when you guys play with Mount and Bruno, like Bruno right. has to play, dude. Bruno, yeah. he cannot be benched. And yeah. also, Bruno's a guy where he's always available, right? He's like Saka. These two guys always available for United and Arsenal, yeah. and they deliver too all the time. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So you Agreed. can't bench a guy like Bruno. So I think this is why I thought, like, I know you like the Mount signing, but dude, this is why I was like, Eric Ten Hag should have got a really good balance for that midfield. And mm-hmm. getting that profile of players is down to the coaching staff and him. So I, 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 I'm, I'm not. I, I, it just baffles me, dude. Look, see, I, I, I still think Mason Mount is a good signing for us, right? Okay. Like, yes, the reason why I don't think he's being used properly is unfortunately the players on the wings mm-hmm. are not are not hitting the ground running, right? Look, Marcus Rashford, he's a great player. You cannot bench Marcus Rashford. But you saw what happened against Forrest, right? Marcus Rashford literally tore uh, Serge Aurier like yeah. to pieces. Yeah, I mean, I mean mm-hmm. hey, Serge Aurier is a quick guy. He's very fast. Um, not the best player, obviously, and especially after the yellow card, it was it was. Yeah. I think Serge Aurier became a little better than that. But um, <laughs> Marcus Rashford needs to play on the left. Period. Right. Once you have Marcus Rashford on the left, then the next problem of, hey, where do we put Garnacho if he comes on? Where do we put uh, uh, Sancho? Where do you put Anthony? I'm like, look, that, that's fine. That is that is a problem to have, but that's not the problem to have. You cannot put Marcus Rashford in the middle, right? <coughs> Rasmus Hoyland, fine. Unfortunately, he's injured. You know, he's probably not playing. There's, there are still some rumors that he may debut at Arsenal. I don't think so, let's be honest. Um, I think it's was. too soon too because you don't want to throw him right into the like you know a, a really yeah, but tough I mean, the last the last two big you know big people to debut against Arsenal got a goal so Rashford yeah you know, we're talking that. about Rashford <laughs> we're talking about Anthony it's a it's a good place to, hey, hey, hey Anthony's figured out bro <laughs> Anthony's <laughs> figured out right now I think there was a lot of gray area when that game I remember there was a lot of gray area about Anthony yeah. but I honestly think Anthony's figured out right now I think the whole league's figured him out too I mean so so it's funny because people compare him to Robin right and, and it's great right like fine he he literally does what Robin did every day of every game you know all the time. The one thing which I which I do think, and I have I've made a note about this to talk about this right now, mm-hmm. is since the Arsenal United friendly in in our backyard, yeah, I have had a newfound appreciation for Anthony's defensive side. He, I don't know if you remember seeing him on that side, but I was like, damn, this guy is. That was one of his big, big mistakes, right? Like last year when Dalo was playing for a while, um, you know he. That was a big gap coming back, mm-hmm. right? And obviously, Wan Bissaka, you know, when if you have three steps on Wan Bissaka, that's not enough ever, right? And 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 Wan Bissaka is Wan Bissaka, but Anthony has been really, really, really stepping up his defensive game. And look, I know he's a winger, and, and it's not like a plus point to him, but yeah, it negates that minus point, right? Now, yes, I think Anthony's def- you know decision making is is really going to be a big issue. Especially mm-hmm. because of your defense, right? Like your defense is, is, is class. Like you know, I, I we're still I, experimenting, dude. I, honestly, I still think we're not playing our strongest back four. If you ask me, Arsenal right now. I know we have a really, really? good lineup, dude. I swear mm-hmm. to God, we're not playing a we're not playing our strongest lineup because we're still experimenting with Thomas Partey as the right inverted right back. You know? Yeah. 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 And, yeah. I I feel like that's not working. It could have worked. Maybe listen, if if we <coughs> took our chances over the weekend, maybe we would have said, "Hey, it actually worked," but we it didn't happen. Um, yeah, but I mean, I mean, look, you you. But we look solid though. That much I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like you do not have, and I think I hate to say this because this is very un Arsenal like and very un United like, but you have no injuries. Like you're you're full. 
Touch wood. Touch Knock wood. and wood. I, I don't want to touch wood. Um, I don't know if do you have it. I don't think you guys. Dude, have dude, we lost Timber, bro. We lost Timber, bro. He was that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. He was balling, that's dude. Fine. That's but fine. it's not a I major would, area, is what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like if you would have lost someone, like you know, one of your front three or one of your front five, rather, yeah, I would yeah. be like, okay, that's the big thing. On the other hand, we have. I mean, if you're ready for this, <clears throat> we have okay. lost Luke Shaw, Mason mm. Mount, Varan. I think Dalo might be a doubt. Um, Hoyland is a doubt too, obviously. Hoyland is a Hoyland is yeah, it's been a doubt as well. There are rumors also that Lissandro Martinez might be out. So Boy. it's it's a uh, you know it's 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 one of those things of like hey we've played we've had a very 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 long season. I think mm-hmm. we had one of the longest seasons of, out of all the apart from City obviously right um, out of all the English teams. And it ended very recently with uh, the FA Cup loss, right? Um, and I did forget about that. You're right because you guys had two cup competitions. You're right. Yes, yeah, we had we had two cup competitions till the very end. We had uh, mm-hmm. obviously the. Did Premier you guys League, play in the Europa had... League? Yeah, yeah, but we lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we um, did too, but <laughs> I didn't know how far you guys went. So, oh man, I, I, oh I, yeah, I remember well, Sevilla, right? We, you guys lost yeah, to Sevilla, it, bro. It was it was Sevilla. <laughs> Had to be Sevilla. <laughs> it's, it's Sevilla or or Villarreal. It's only the yeah. first two. It, it, they're, yeah, I remember they're, now. They're turning to lose, but um, man, I think we've had such a long tournament, a uh, lots of long season, and it's you know I'll I'll give you that, dude. I'll give you that. I forgot that United actually played. You guys went definitely to the knockout stages. I know that for a fact. You guys yeah. had to play that extra round of fixtures, the round of yes. thirty-two, which is a pain yes. in the ass fixture for the Europa League. And I think you guys lost out in the quarters. I don't remember. And then yeah. obviously Carabao Cup. That's another competition. Then FA Cup. You guys went all the way to final. Wow. Actually, you're right. Man. And and Very that's also season. kind of why you know like this exodus that we've had. We I think we've let go of like seven players this 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 transfer window for. 20 million pounds, right? Which, mm-hmm. again, it's not a big thing in terms of like the overall picture, but a lot of it is is kind of, there's a lot of uncertainty right, in the club right now with the ownership. And I think that is a part of why these sales are happening. Uh, again, I was reading um, something on Reddit a while ago, just like, you know, these, these sales for, for insanely cheap amounts of money are just so that you know the the um, Glazers recoup something, and I'm in my mind, I'm like that doesn't <laughs> make sense, but it's the Glazers. We don't know; it could be the case. Yeah, and I think what's not helped is the injuries. Um, I'm actually a little happy that we've not let go of Harry Maguire. I, I hate to say this, but you know, on one side, I'm like, hey, if if Maguire would have gone, we would have got to uh, you know Tadebo and. If the Tomine had gone, we would have got Amrabat. But at the same time, I'm like, look, like it takes time to settle in. Like at least the very least, if, if Martinez and Varan are injured, right? We have a uh, a partnership who has played before, right? In Lindelof and Maguire. Obviously, might not be our first choice, but they mm-hmm. at least know how each other play, right? Which, in hindsight, it's not as bad as it could have been, right? Like instead of having a new Center back play with Lindelof, who who may not have played a single game in the last few few weeks, few months. That is at least you know it's a lesser of two evils, right? But again, not what my preference would be. The one thing I am really concerned about against a team like Arsenal is the goal scoring, right? Like we know Arsenal's attack is great, right? Let's be honest. Like Saka single handedly can if he decides to. I'm a huge Saka fan. You know this. Yeah, I know right? because you're an England fan, obviously. Yeah, I'm an England fan, but I love Saka from the bottom of my heart. Um, I think he's a great, great guy. Obviously, you know, Saka Rashford is like a... (laughs) But but it's Arsenal, man. I think this is where United step up. And at the same time, Arsenal step up, right? And this, this is the only game, I think, for the past couple of years for me, which I'm genuinely a little scared, right? The reason for that is... And let me pause you there, yeah? Let me pause you there for a second. Because last five years at the Emirates, you guys haven't won. Haven't even won the game. So I mean, last five I'm, years... See, but I've never been scared. I've never been no, scared. No, no. I'm just saying, the last five years, right? The score has been like... It's been 
2 nil 2 nil there was a nil nil draw 3 1 and 3 2 which was a 3 2 which is famous uh, eddie and katie winner last yep. year so at the emirates we seem to uh, be getting over united at least mm-hmm. uh, at, at home at home at yeah home. at at the emirates yeah that's why i said yeah. so i mean i mean look it's it's i think it's going to be a counter game for us right let's be mm-hmm. honest our 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 wingers can run like and run a lot and i don't think your defense can really run as much as us if it's on the counter right that being said that being said man i love i love saliba right i think his, saliba is he's a rolls royce dude that guy is un- i can't believe we actually have a player like him sometimes i got to pinch myself but what one thing which which i i and again i'm he can be exploited right if it's two versus one, like, yeah, you know, yeah yeah it, yeah from the speed side right like it it's it's very i wouldn't say it's easy to exploit it but it's possible right yeah. now with the vis- with the creativity of bruno fernandes like we we've we've seen this day in day out multiple times even against forest right like like he single handedly just changes plays yeah. which which i think you know in this game it has to change right um again obviously we saw the friendly which was it's a friendly no one really really gives a shit but it's yeah. arsenal united um i think declan rice is my england fan speaking out right now i think declan yeah. rice is going to be overwhelmed a little bit um because of the mason mount bruno fernandes i mean again but mount is not playing sorry i uh, meant alex and bruno fernandes um uh the duo right okay. i don't think Declan Rice is going to do well in that situation. I this is what I'm saying. This is what you hope. <laughs> this well, no, actually what I hope, what I hope is that Declan Rice is just is distracted by marking Bruno Fernandes, right? Mm. Because then when let's be honest, Declan Rice for you is basically Casemiro for us. If you remove Casemiro out of the game, you have an easy run in straight, right? If we remove Declan Rice out of your game, I think it's an easy win for us. But let's let let's come back to reality a little bit, right? It's not going to happen. Right? That's not going to happen. I I'm fully fully expecting an Arsenal victory here just from the fact that we don't have our top team, right? Um we lack right now in the in the middle just like the middle stretch, right? With Varane being injured, I think that's also a very 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 big loss for us. Yeah. Um I think he he provides something in the defense which I don't think any other person in terms of just calmness, right? Lindelof is mm-hmm. great. I love Lindelof. I think he can really he's probably the next in line to provide that kind of calmness. But even based on the form, right? Like I think you you guys have won the last obviously apart from Fulham you've won the last two games. Yeah. Your your victory against Forest was was okay, right? Like, yeah, it was okay. About that. Yeah. No, it was a, it was a good game, dude. Like like I said, we should have scored four or five, but then we had this one which I thought was a head injury to Havertz, uh yeah. which they didn't call and then they just go on the counter and like you said, we did look bad when we were on the counter like yeah. Alanga, yeah. one of your boys. Absolutely oh, yeah. like yeah. he had like a he had like a 5 yard 5 yard head start, which I'm like how the hell is this guy having this much pace? So yeah, yeah uh, I think everyone was looking for that foul and everyone was confused because yeah. he went holding his head but yeah. I think it was a, I think it was a freaky goal to be honest really? but I, but, but, I think but so don't too. you think even again even again Fulham right like it just seemed like you guys looked a little shaky on all counters like when, when you're true. going up when you're building I think like look when when you have the people who can stretch and come in with with Martinelli Saka and also like Oh, let let's let's not forget about Odegaard. Odegaard is literally has the ball on strings, right? Even yeah. against um, who did you play after? Uh, what was your second game? Uh, Palace. Uh, Palace. Palace. Right. Um, was that was that where Odegaard was just like kicking the ball from one end to the other, like it's just his backyard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. He's. That yeah, was. He... I think. I think. You know. Let's not forget him. But when you're going up, I think you have a really good. really good. like your whole team moves up right but mm-hmm. what i found is that you guys are a little weaker on the counter right and that's I, probably our I'll give you that. one of our own no 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 players. you're right you're right and i'll give you that because i saw that only in the fulham game that's why i was saying like forest game i think that goal was a little freaky 
But the Fulham game, you're absolutely right, because I felt like, my gosh, without the ball, we were looking like, dude, where should we, where should this player be? We we were looking like we were scrambling a little bit. Although yeah. it didn't turn out to be really bad, but it could have been bad in, cert- in certain situations. It could have been bad. It could have been bad. Exactly. And I, and and I, this I, is the, where... The one thing which I like for you guys, sorry, just, just to, just to yeah, add yeah, sure. here, is... is the fact that so your back four has played together multiple times, right? Like, fine. I, I don't rate Ben White as much just because I just don't like him as a player. But I'm, I'm you know, he's been doing pretty well. Uh, I don't think he he. I think you deserve a better player in that position. Um, and I, I know a few Arsenal fans who would definitely agree with me. I don't know if you do or not, but with with like Gabriel Saliba Zinchenko, and you have like Thomas Party essentially. Playing as a supporting defender, if that's what you want to call it, mm. and then Declan Rice, who's basically like Rolls Royce of, of players, in my opinion. Anyway, there's a there's like a gap, right? Which Odegaard fills really well. So for me, the only way that United can really make a dent in your team um, at full force for you guys is is on the counter, right? And and the one thing we lack, because on the left, it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Diego Dalo playing on the left for us, right? Um, as much as I don't like it, it's going to be Diego Dalo. And that is, for me, the risk, right? Because Bukayo Saka against Luke Shaw, I would have taken that, right? I would have, mm. I would have been like, I would have yeah. cherished that battle because, because Luke Shaw is, is fast. He's quick. He and he's physical too. And he's physical too. And look, Saka will definitely get the better of Luke Shaw once or twice, but Luke Shaw will will yeah, yeah. just keep keep at it, right? Yeah. Like yep. with Diego Delop, it's it's a little risky because for me, when Delop plays, he has a good game. I think his game is outstanding, right? I think he's one of the best crossers of the ball in the United team period, right? Like any position. Um, but again, defending tricky. I think. Um, I'm actually curious to see if uh, if Eric Ten Hag plays Van Bissaka on Saka's side just just because of the the reach around. Right? I don't think it's going to do that because I think Diego Dallas is more versatile in terms of which position, and he's played left back before for us. But Martinelli versus Van Bissaka will be a great battle as yeah. always. Um, ooh, man, I th- it, it, it's it's always it's always going to be a good good battle, right? Like. Yeah, dude. I mean, Emirates, um, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, at the Emirates. No, uh, you know, just uh, just going back, dude. Uh, on I did I gotta back my boy Ben White, dude. Honest to God, he is the most versatile defender we have on the team. Really? And he all, dude. He always gives us seven out of ten. He has bailed us out on so many situations, mm-hmm. and him with Saka is a completely different dynamic over there. If if we play a back three of Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Zinchenko, I think if we play that back four, I think we will we will comfortably we will we will be very comfortable in the game. Is what I think, uh, considering the fact that only because United are not at their strongest, so I will you know have to I I gotta. Um, you know, sympathize at least a little bit with United at this point, which I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but it is it is the case because you guys are not at your strongest. There's a lot of injuries right now. Uh, seems like you, I mean, the transfer window closes in a couple of hours. To be honest, it's yeah. September first, yeah. so yeah. I did, I don't even know if uh, anything has been confirmed yet. So that's why I see Arsenal winning this game. I think the best result for United is probably a draw. So, if they can scrape a draw, yeah, you know, I, 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 I see what you're saying, right? And and look, I agree with almost everything, right? Like uh, until the last sentence. Okay. As a as a United fan, you know, I can't I can't settle for saying that. We, yeah, but you gotta look at situation yeah. too, right? Yeah, I mean, look, situation is yeah. like, look, we have like if if I say that, oh, for every injured player, you know, we like we have to make excuses. No, that that's the whole point of depth in a squad right which we don't have let's be honest which yeah. we don't have that depth yet uh, but even if you know let's say let's, like i know that ericsson is going to start right i i think it's a good move to start ericsson and bring on mctominay a little later because i think mctominay can 
can battle, right? Where Ericsson is more of like a you know let's let's not battle and and let's kind of sit back a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it all depends on how the the first half goes, right? Okay. Because what what normally if you, if you look at the if you look at the like United second half against um, uh, the Forest, right? Like man, that second half, what was that? Right, it was yeah. literally two, two, two ends of a spectrum in terms of performance, and just like drive by us, right? And I think from Arsenal's perspective, if, if Arsenal can get early goals against United, that is like that's great for for both for you guys, obviously from a mentality perspective. Yeah, yeah. But if we, you know, I feel like if United have the lead against Arsenal, it's scarier for me, just because just the nature of the team, right? Like we don't have too much in our pocket to just bring out a trump card, right? That is true. Like, like we can't, we can't bring on defensive reinforcements because we don't really have too many defensive reinforcements. Like what we can do is we can bring on different attacking flavors. For example, like let's say like Garnacho, just like to drive forward in a different way. We can, we can bring on McTominay to kind of free up our midfield a little bit, right? We can, if if Sancho's starting, or if uh, if uh, uh, if Sancho's not, I think Sancho's going to start. Let's be honest. But if Sancho's not starting, bring on Sancho. Or we, and that that's been the issue with us, right? Like we don't have people to see off the game. We have people to kind of come back in the game in terms of like, all right, let let's make this happen, right? Um, and I think that's been a fundamental issue for United last season, right? We just not able to see off games and then you know kind of stretching back for a couple of seasons um one thing one person who i really think will be key if he's fit is anthony martial right like anthony martial i i i i'm hoping has at least a small part to play in this game right because what anthony martial does and does well in fact is he can hold the ball a little bit we don't have any player if like, <laughs> yeah, if you give that ball. We don't have any player apart That's from Anthony true. Martial who who can hold the ball. Rashford is a fucking headless chicken when when he's like <laughs> he's alone. He will just run. Yeah, Anthony and he's well. wasted if he's playing in the center. Like if exactly. you play Rashford exactly. in the center, we're gonna have a field day. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but let's be honest, right? Like who else is there? Yeah, no. Like, that, that's this, why I'm saying. Point, that's why I'm saying there? we gotta consider the fact that you know United are not at their strongest. You might have to tweak. A certain positions, mm-hmm. and yeah, listen. Mm-hmm. It's uh, like I said. I think the, the best result, looking at how I'm looking at the game in terms of squads and everything, I'm like, wow. If United actually get a point, I will be disappointed. You, I think United fans will be so happy right now if they actually get a point. Yeah, is what I was thinking. So, what do you like? Okay, so let me ask you a question. Where do you see the key battles in this game? Um. That's a great question, right? I think I think okay. Let 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 let's define key, right? Like key, mm-hmm. key as an interesting to watch or key as in a tough battle, right? Well, if is it going to be in midfield or is it going to be like like you said, Juan Bissaka versus Saka or you know Martin against? First Martin. of all, I don't think there's going to be like a fight. Okay, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think it's going to be a fight. I think it's going to be individual performances, if at all, right? Like for example, I think Odegaard can run through our team mm. if not stopped and i don't think Ericsson has the has the drive to stop him let's be honest like i i think Ericsson is class mm. but he's just not I, I don't think his fitness is up to a premier league clash such as united versus arsenal right i think if if bruno decides to kind of play a little bit deeper in fact not just deeper but like a free role i think it's going to be Bruno versus Odegaard for the most part, yeah. right? Um, because you, we've seen Bruno deployed in a more of like, hey, you have a free role, but you are going to play box to box. At the at the at the sacrifice of losing our attacking threat with Bruno, we have had to kind of have him back a little bit. And hey, Bruno, like if you saw against Forest, his uh, his drive is 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 yeah. unmatched, right? I think I think Odegaard versus Bruno will be. A battle not many are expecting, but it's going to show mm. up. I think Casemiro um, is going to be heavily tracking Saka and Martinelli on the wings. I don't think 
he should be looking at Enketia. Let's be honest, Enketia is great, but the main threat is coming from yeah, Saka. Yeah. Right, it's the feeding Martin inside Martin, yeah. the box. Like exactly. you gotta stop that uh, because Eddie is good in the box. Like in the box, yeah. Eddie is good. Yeah, yeah, and and look, I think I think Martinez and Katia. Yeah, uh, Martinez is great. He's just not had a good start to this season, right? No, he's a good he's, defender, dude. Lisandro, the butcher. He's made some. <laughs> he's made some dumb mistakes. Yeah. One thing which I am very, we haven't even spoken about this, right? And I, 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 I wanted to leave this towards kind of the later stages. Is we now have someone who is an extra person while going up, which we've not had last year, right? When in Onana, mm. I hate to say it, but Onana's distribution, Onan, just like his, you know, when 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 Ramsdale came in, right? You had what's his name, um, Leno. What's his first name? Leno, Le- Burn Leno. Burn, Burn Leno. Burn Leno was a great keeper, right? And at that time, come on, let's be honest. Yeah, Berlin no, was, I mean, when you're yeah. talking about Peter Cech at the latter stages and Bern Leno, yeah, it's chalk and cheese, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, look, come on. Like, Ramsdale, as I also remember when Ramsdale came in, he came in off a fantastic season. Ramsdale was, had like an Emmy Martinez sort of swag, right? Like, he's like, I don't care what's happening. I will do what I want to do, right? I will yell at you. I will... I don't like. I'm. He's a. He's uh, very I, animated. I I'll. I'll give it like very that. Very animated. I'll give That's it perfect that. Word. <laughs> and Onana kind of reminds me of of when Ramsdale came in, right? Like, you're 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 coming off of probably one of the the greatest, if not the greatest, Premier League keeper of all time, right? Mm-hmm. And and if anyone argues with me on this, I'm like, you don't know anything <laughs> because David De Gea was the best keeper in Premier League history, right? Um, Debatable. Okay. We'll really? leave that Come for on. a diff- different uh, discussion. Come <laughs> on, dude. Like, he, he, Listen, l- l- let's not get into that, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but So I think Onana, what Onana provides is a little bit of swagger in the back, right? Yeah, so Onana, right? Um, I think he brings a little bit of swagger in the team, right? Which, which it's, it's reminiscent of Ramsdale at Arsenal when he came in. Uh, Onana has not had the best starts to his career. But if you see some of the players that he's had, he's been like he's he's had some really critical saves. Obviously, um, I think as a shot stopper, he's nowhere near as good as David De Gea. Um, but his distribution has been key yeah. in just like making those moves happen. I think that is something we have not yet exploited in terms of our attack yet, right? Um, and the reason for that is just is not how we play, right? I think Ten Hag is trying to get it out there. It's like what three games into the season, four games into the yeah. season, and, and I think you know it's going to take time. But against Arsenal, that might the counter attack is our best bet, and I think Onana's presence of mind here will be very mm-hmm. very key. Um, may not even work out right, but I think if Onana can get the ball out to let's say a Sancho on the wing or a or a Anthony on the wing or even even you know anyone running up, like look Sancho, Anthony, Rashford, I think all three of them can run a lot and are probably faster than most is that your maybe, best best maybe. front three right now for sunday right now yeah rashford yes, and best... uh, martial and uh, sancho no 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 rashford anthony and and uh, sancho oh, okay. i don't think i don't think like for so me, you want to play anthony at strike is that what you i want to play i want to play jaden sancho in the middle gotcha right? just i mean again this is this is only from looking at how he played in the friendlies right it was more in the middle yeah, yeah because yeah. Let, let, let's let's think about it right like rashford needs to play on the, on the left he destroyed during forest um for the most part obviously he didn't he didn't you know individually get the like three goals and like four assists and you know great numbers but if you look at the stats i think he did a great job right mm-hmm. i think anthony the only position you can play him is on that side on the right side and i think with the speed that he has, he can definitely take on Zinchenko. He can definitely make things happen, yeah. right? Um, one thing which I really like is he is very, very, very good at just direct running, which I don't think Zinchenko is good at defending. Zinchenko is a very smart left back. Yeah, yeah. He's not good at like... If it's like defending, it's it's not his best attribute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree, uh, yeah. Yeah, and like I think Anthony has linked up a little bit with with Van Bissaka too, which is which mm. is good to see. The one thing is good look, to see Sancho Van Bissaka been... put a cross huh, once in a while. 
hey, hey, hey. It's come on. It's been it's been better, right? It's yeah, okay. All right, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, the one the one thing which like I think Eric Ten Hag has a battle here about where do you put Sancho, right? Sancho has been showing glimpses of his Dortmund form, right? Whenever he's played, it's been there. It's been there. I I really would like to see like Sancho a little bit in the middle and the four of them Anthony Rashford Sancho and Bruno just having more of like a a, a free flowing movement because we don't have a striker right Rashford cannot hit mm-hmm. the ball for shit let's be honest yeah. right and the only other use of a striker is to run behind and i think i think that they should play Sancho as kind of like a false nine ish but they won't right they won't i don't think Eric Ten Hag is going to do that um i think it's going to be uh what's his face uh Rashford in the middle they're not going to do well there right because yeah. i hate to say it man but it's they're, they're already starting to give me a headache with just mm. like the dumb mistakes that they're making right eric ten hag doesn't really have too much of a choice he's he put his chips in for hoyland and came out with an injury fine that we play with the cards can't do anything about play. it man exactly yes. exactly um I I would like to see Martial involved for a while. I would like to see uh, Garnacho involved for a while, and more importantly, I would like to see Scott McTominay involved in a while, because I think Scott McTominay is probably. And I was talking to a few of my friends earlier this morning about. Um, uh, we have rumors about Reguilon kind of coming in on a loan after the whole Cucurella yeah. thing ended. Um, I think McTominay is probably one of the only people in our entire squad. After um, um, Bruno Fernandez and to some extent Juan Bissaka, who give like everything on the yeah, pitch, right? yeah, um, full effort, yeah, you gotta full effort, yeah, right? Like, and that that that's kind of where I really rate Zinchenko for. Like, Zinchenko will give you a hundred percent, right? Sometimes Odegaard does not. Sometimes, like you know, for for you guys, I don't think any of your front three have had too many bad games, right? But sometimes they just kind of put their foot off the pedal a little bit. Um, I think Saka less because he's English, obviously. But um, but, <laughs> but um, I think that's why I want McTominay in there because even if you're at 70 minutes, you have 20 minutes to go, plus the 10 minutes of stoppage time, which everything everyone's adding, I think that's where McTominay can really make an impact. Mm. Um, but all, all in all, I'm not, you know, this is probably one of the only Arsenal games that I'm scared. I'm like, look, it's going to be a thrashing, right? It's going to be a thrashing, or it's going to be like a boring ass one nil or oh, something boy. like that, or two one. <laughs> like, I think before I, I and and I like that you brought that statistic up of we've lost the past five games against Arsenal at home. I, 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 I sorry, away for us at the Emirates, yeah, 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 the Emirates. But at Old Trafford, it's been a different story it's mixed right? uh, yeah it's it's mixed yeah. because last year and we lost there i think the year before that we won there or something yeah. like it's it's yeah, mixed it, over there it's been a but you guys story, obviously yeah. get us get the better of us at old trafford so yeah you know. and and i think um what eric ten hag does really well is mm. he knows how to make these changes at half like if you see most of his games last season if they're really performing bad in the first half they do change it up quite a bit in the second half, right? Okay. And he's not afraid to make those halftime subs, which not a lot yeah, of yeah. managers in today's world do. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> it's it's going to be it's going to be a fun game. You know, I'm excited. Yeah. My prediction is three one Arsenal. Uh, what I would like is two one United. But mm-hmm. I don't think we're going to restrict Arsenal to just one goal, right? Um, I think I think realistically it's going to be three one to Arsenal. But putting you know if if Ten Hag plays the way that I know that we can play, right, and everyone kind of s- just gives their hundred percent, I think United can come away with the victory here, just because of Arsenal's like. Is that the gap in defending against counterattacks and our strength of attacking in counterattacks? I think that's like that's the only thing that can win us the game. Um, apart from that, I think you know it's, it's Arsenal's game to lose. I hate you know, saying it, but yeah, yeah no, dude. Uh, I was gonna say the exact same thing. Three-one, actually. Uh, I think you guys will score, 
but i think 3-1 dude uh, we just can't keep a clean sheet at home i don't know why yeah. we can yeah. keep clean yeah. sheets everywhere else apart from home yeah like away from home no problem 10 a man down no problem at palace <laughs> we'll yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but i i i can't i don't know why uh, but i think yeah 3-1 to arsenal um yeah i mean listen like i said uh, i don't think united are at their strongest i think we will have a bigger reaction and a bigger thing to prove this week mm-hmm. only because mm-hmm. of what happened at fulham i mean not at fulham at the emirates last week yeah i think yeah. we will have a definite response to uh, for this game and uh, you know whether it's united at not at the strongest or i mean not at the strongest at the, at the weakest beating united is definitely the cherry on top of the cake oh yeah so even if it's a friendly I, man like you, yeah, you yeah, saw it the game right in 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 uh, yes, heated bro <laughs> in the caucus it was it was it was heated and like yeah i i i came out of the game thinking i'm like hey it's a friendly but i'm so happy that we won <laughs> and i think yeah. um i think it's like we're we're very close to i think it's like 99 wins or 100 i think united need one more win or i don't know if the friendly counter does that but they need one mm. more win to get 100 wins against arsenal and i think that's going to also motivate them right um mm. the one the one thing which i think united have going for them is that it's more of an underdog story right now just based on the injuries and 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 i think last season we lost 3-2 to you in the emirates yeah yeah um, yep. and and we think we beat you 3-1 at at old trafford, old trafford yep Ant- anthony and uh, what's his face mark rashford. rashford scoring yeah yeah um hey i think I think it's going to be a really good game this time. Yeah. Um but you know there's there's a lot riding on this in terms of decisions, right? Um obviously not, at this point nothing can change in terms of tra- I, I'm calling the transfer window closed. I don't think Amrabat's coming. I don't think Reguilon's coming. We'll see in the next few hours right, if at all. But this is the squad we have. It's the squad you guys have. That's what we're playing with. and based on just the squad i think it's going to be a very tough game very tough game yeah. for us um you're right getting a draw out of this game is going to be like a positive for us i just don't think that's how ten hag plays man you yeah. know it's uh, yeah it's his but, way of the highway is he's, he's he's a stubborn exactly. dutchman exactly <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. he's a stubborn dutchman and i think he i think you know it's it's a test because now that he has had one full season uh under his belt you know and he's won something he won sil- yeah. silverware right um that adds more pressure and it's always the second season which which you know um isn't the best does that add more pressure and or does that buy 100%, more time 100% 100% and i think there's already like there's already like um talks about Ten Hag needs to go and I'm just like what the, what the hell <laughs> yeah, those, right like yeah yeah you got trolls um, everywhere bro like yeah but you know they have a few points right mm. like now that I'm thinking about it like he he has come out and said like yeah I'm going I'm going to raise this team up the way I want to right like if you don't like it screw you right look we've had very 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 mediocre signings at best right and i'm not, i'm even talking about the loan folks right even from like sabitzer even from uh, what's his name the tall guy weghorst right like evans johnny evans coming coming back like come on i don't think eric ten hag has really stepped it up to the, to the way that we needed him to step up mm-hmm. partly partly also just because of the transfer saga of 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 sorry the of the club the yeah, other, yeah. right Uh, I think as as a people manager he's had very tough we spoke about this right with the whole Ronaldo with the whole Greenwood situation and and now the club and I think it's still on his head he's had one full year so he's had the the grace period and I think he's done great in the grace period which in hindsight comes back to bite him in the ass this season right um we spoke what nearly a month and a half ago and I was very optimistic about it these games Has, has got me a little less optimistic with the injuries, yep. and we think we've got no one in, right? After those yep. three people we spoke about, we've got no one in. So it's it's still the whole United like linking game of like, oh, we'll link with this, we'll link with this, we'll link with this. 
Um, so I, I am upset with the way that Eric Ten Hag has played it, but I think it, he might be a victim of things which are above him, right? Um, just unfortunately, timing-wise. Um, yeah. And I think this game is a big, big part of that, right? Like, like you know, the last game where we won, obviously after Tottenham, everyone was like, what the hell is happening? Because we just didn't play well. Last game, we didn't play well, but we won. And fans don't really care if you suck, but you get a win. And at the same time, fans... Yeah, bro. Three points in the bag. That's what that's all that exactly. matters. Exactly. Like a, win, yeah. a win is a win. And I think at this point, there's a toxicity behind United. It's like, even if, even if let's say we win, we lose 3-1 to you guys, right? On, on, oh, yeah. on, on Sunday. And, but we play like, like peak, peak United. That's not going to be a good thing. In any other atmosphere, I you'll think still see the Norwich calves outside. <laughs> like, yes, yes. We, I mean, hey, I want, I want the Norwich calves outside anyway, right? But it, any other time, like start of last season, even if mm-hmm. we would have, like, if, if we would have played our hearts out and lost to you or to any any of the big big six, I think it would have been like, hey, you know, this is great. We played really well. We played our hearts out. However, however well we play, and if we don't win, that's just the nature of the toxicity around the club because of the owners. Yeah, and you're right, man. Uh, Ten Hag has a poor record against the top six too. I know he's only been there for a year. I know all that, but he's had not just the top six. I, uh, man, I forgot that stat. Even against like some top eight or something, dude. Away from home, yeah, it's not been a really good record. And yep. considering how you guys are actually going to come to this game with so many people yes. on crutches, it does, it looks even worse. The odds are against us, right? Yeah. Like I remember when Ole was at the wheel, it was the other way around. Like yeah, the fortress yeah. had become like, yeah, just come in, take a dump, and get out. And but away, yeah. we were like, <laughs> I think there was an article about like, oh, we were like Napoleon's army or something like that. Like, oh, we'll go yeah. somewhere and we'll, we'll we'll beat people. But at home, we were terrible, right? And I think mm-hmm. in a good way, like at home, we are really, really, really good right now. Um, but yeah, away, even last just, season, even last season, you guys yeah, were good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, man. Like, a lot of clean sheets Emirates, at home too. Uh, Emirates, yes, yes. For um, you guys. Par- partially because of... David De Gea. My, man, <laughs> I'm very salty. I'm v- I know we spoke about this and I'm like, you know, he needs to go... Just, just for a, uh, for a, uh, uh, I think actually, I think we we spoke at the we time. We spoke of, about it, yeah, yeah. Like because a day he, after he, he left, yeah. I believe, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. Um, and man, I miss him already. Like, <laughs> I wish. He hey, was listen, there, but I miss so many players who uh, we've lost to in the past. Yeah. It's all part and parcel of the it's game, bro. Of, it's it's but, it depends. I don't it's think the club, United have the lost, club end of the day, bro. United have not lost such a legend in a while. Right, I guess because they've true. not had such a legend in a while. Let's yeah, be honest, yeah. right? Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I think the last You've one been there from I the Fergie pers- days. Yeah, yeah, the the last one that I personally remember like being so upset about was Wayne Rooney, right? Mm. Like, like for me, for me, but I'm sure that there has been more, right? I'm not saying there hasn't, yeah, yeah. but I was very upset about Rooney leaving, and I don't think I've been that upset since then for, for anyone else. But yeah, but mm-hmm. you know, let's. Okay. I wanna, and this on a positive note, right? Like, I think it's going to yeah. be a, a great game for for myself and you. I know that uh, knowing you, we're gonna have we're gonna be watching it somewhere, you know, just like enjoying the moments and um, yeah, whatever happens, you know, I think I think it's gonna it's gonna change our season. Whatever happens, if it's a win, I think it's gonna be a, a big statement. Uh, if it's a loss, I think it's gonna be very similar to like reminiscent of the Brentford game last year. Right, mm-hmm. um, it's just a tough situation to be in for us. Uh, but I, you know, again, it, it's like the league last year, right? It's yours to lose. This is yours to lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Who do you think the scorers are going to be? Just out of curiosity, uh, I think it's going to be Saka, Odegaard, and Eddie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. None of the subs? No, only a starter? No, no, I think starters, dude. Yeah, I think okay. it's going to be like the Saka or Garden Eddie. I think that's who it's going to be. Eddie's on f- really good form, so yeah, I'm hoping yeah, he starts yeah. on He Wednesday. also got his England call up, right? Last, yesterday? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that, that, yep. that's got to gonna do something. I think I think it's going to be, uh, like, I think Declan Rice is going to get a goal. Um, 
Well, I, that'll, I'll, that'll put a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, but you know, if if United do win in two one, I think it it is it is definitely going to be an Anthony goal, right? Like it has to come from either Anthony or Sancho. Um, and Rashford, like, dude. I'm I thinking. Think, I think, like I said, my three one prediction. Rashford is scoring is what I think. He I always scores at the end. I think. Oh, okay. I think it's going. It's going to be Bruno Fernandez because you're going to give away a penalty. I <laughs> let's let's it, it's that the hey, that could be possible. Actually, it is, quite it possible. Is, there's yeah. going to be at least one penalty in the game mm. for us, and I think Bruno Fernandez is going to score that. <sighs> okay. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see, I, man. We'll see. We'll, and uh, like I said, afternoon. it's all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, always a pleasure having you on the show and uh, talking about uh, football and especially Arsenal versus Manchester United. Yeah, and uh, let's so much history, man. you know. I'm yeah, exactly. And uh, I can't wait for the game. Honestly, uh, I, I just wish uh, today was Saturday and tomorrow was Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I, we have yeah. to what we have to get through four hours of work, forty eight hours, and tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. My God. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, viewers. Uh, Thank you for you know supporting the channel. Uh, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, I will put Geet's socials on the description too, so you can follow him uh, wherever he's available to be found. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Cheers. Appreciate it. Bye.